this episode of Tea Time with Taryn, I'm going to be showing you this technique that um, I've been doing lately where you clear emboss on patterned paper and it looks really cool. Before I forget, I'm using the Lift Me Up stamp set. I'm just, I'm also going to be using the die cuts, the corresponding die cuts. And to get started, I've grabbed some um, patterned paper and I'm just going to be cutting out some sections that I used to stamp on so I don't need the whole sheet so I'm only cutting out what I plan on using. So I've got a variety of different ones I want to try. So to start off I'm going to um, use Versamark ink. It's a clear ink but it's also um, great for embossing. So because I need everything to be clear I'm going to use the Versamark ink. I'm going to be using clear embossing powder. Now this one is sparkly, so I thought that would be kind of fun to try the sparkle one. So on this card, all of the clear embossing that I do will also have a little bit of a sparkle to it. After um, you've embossed all of them, stamped and embossed, you can go ahead and heat set them. Now I am using a marker and I am coloring over all of these. This is a water-based ink marker. The one I'm using is from Stamping Up. However, um, there are a lot of varieties you could use. Just avoid any that are um, alcohol-based. So don't use Sharpies or um, anything like that, Prismas. Those kind of blending markers will um, attach themselves to the areas that are embossed. So you want something that is going to resist the um, embossed areas. So probably even the Crayola markers would be perfect for this as well. I'm doing black because I want to hide all of the pattern um, that has not been embossed. So if you're having a little bit of trouble you can just moisten um, if you're using a Kleenex or a paper towel, just moisten it a little bit and then run it over. Don't soak it because then you're going to soak the paper just enough to um, take off the excess marker that's, that will end up on the embossed areas. After coloring all of my balloons, I'm then going to cut them out. I'm using the corresponding um, thin lit, but obviously you could just go ahead and cut around the edges. I like to secure my thin lits with a, a bit of washi tape. This washi tape isn't the greatest and so I know it will peel up easily, but if you have trouble peeling it up, I have a video that I can show you. So this is after I've run them through my machine I, and I've used the dies to cut out all of my balloons. I'm now going to draw some clouds. I do have cloud stamps but I wanted kind of a different look and I've been really into hand drawing things lately. So I chose the sentiment thank you and I left a little space there uh, when I was drawing for the sentiment. So I'm going to now piece it all together. I chose colors that I thought went with the paper um, that I chose for my balloons. Now that I've decided where everything is going to go, I'm going to use some double sided tape and just um, tape it into place. Next step, of course, is taping all the layers together. So again, I'm using just double-sided tape. I didn't really feel like it was complete at this point, so I decided I would draw in some stitch lines, and I'm just using a Sharpie uh, fine tip marker. So 
So there we go. This is the final result. I hope you enjoyed this technique and um, I hope you give it a try. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy my video and feel free to leave me some comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.